I'm going to start with Yvette. Uh, what is the craziest thing that has ever been asked of you? Naming no names, obviously. What did you do and how did you handle that situation? So I thought about this and I was thinking about all of the weird and wonderful things that our executives asked us to do. And I thought, what was the, the one thing that I was asked to do that I just thought, oh my God, you are crazy. <laughs> and that was to do two office moves in two different cities within three months of each other. And that was basically finding the office, redesigning the office, and moving everyone in. And after I had a bit of a meltdown, I basically had to involve as few people as I possibly could, because otherwise everyone has an opinion and everyone will just drive you crazy. And I had to, um, I had to hire um, space at the um, office location people. Um, I had people sending me um, emails with, oh, try this office, try this office, try this office. Um, I had to manage the different requirements for the two different offices. Um, one office was in, in central London. We were moving out of a building that was being knocked down, so I, we had a hard deadline of moving out. The other office were, were growing fast. They were in a converted barn, literally in the middle of a field. They had um, BT, uh, basically BT Home Hub internet, and they were a client-facing business, so we had to make sure that their move was done smoothly so that no clients were impacted at all. Um, and I had to manage the, the different requirements were, you know, the, the office up in, so the, the other office was in Leicestershire, and they had to have, they weren't, they weren't fussed about, um, like, train stations and tube stations and things like that. They needed car parking. And so all the different things you have to think about that I wasn't used to having to deal with. So I had to um, <coughs> divide my time between the London office and the Leicestershire office to try and make sure that everyone in each office thought that they were my number one priority, <laughs> <laughs> which obviously they were not. <laughs> but I am very pleased to say that um, on Friday the 13th of May 2016, um, we moved into the London office. We had two days to spare before they had to hand over the keys to the demolition people. Um, and then, I don't remember the date, but it was in August, um, the guys in Leicestershire moved into their office and they were all happy. <laughs> well done. Yeah. <laughs>